clear. Don't do that. So it is beautiful. It is beautiful here. This is, um, I think this is Flamingo Beach, if I'm not mistaken. Flamingo Beach in Aruba. And um, they actually got flamingos like on the beach. It's beautiful. Everything here is beautiful. Everything here is beautiful. I'm so appreciative. Look here. This is what I was trying to show y'all earlier. Earlier, but my camera wasn't coming in clear. So now, I believe I can get it in a little clearer and show y'all better shot. Look at all this beauty right before me, right before my eyes. I can stay here all day, y'all. I can stay here all day, not say a word, and just be deep in thought and meditation. Like, it's beautiful. So I know y'all haven't seen me in a while. And look, it's a bird bear. Let me show you a bird bear. <laughs> See the little bird? <laughs> it's like they little feed in the rest of the station, so they really like don't bother the people. Um, so they don't bother the people. Can you see that over there? They got some out there. So you know what I'm saying? They got a little ball. So they really don't bother the people. And they enjoy them. I really love like that. This beach has two separate sides. Let me see if I can turn the flamingo over here for you. So, like, like I was saying, uh, I'm sorry I've been in my A, and I know I haven't made any videos or anything like that in a really, really long time. But I was really feeling some type of way about um I had been scammed on eBay and I was feeling some type of way about it and I was mad and I was salty and so I really just kind of stepped back and um let me come up this way. She needed to you and she got sauce all over the bag. <laughs> they still they still out here chilling. I don't like this is about to be a wolf. Just chilling, chilling on the beach with the people. This ain't no. At least they not being disrespectful. Well, they is walking around pooping, but it's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess. But now, nah, take it back to what I was saying. I feel it. Oh my goodness, right, y'all? See this? 
I can't even talk to y'all because I'm trying to. I'm missing too much. I'm missing too much. Look at here. Women all upstream, baby. Okay. So, as I was saying, so I was really feeling some type of way because I have been scammed on eat. Ooh, they fighting. Stop that. So I was feeling some type of way because I have been scammed on eBay. And, you know, I didn't know who it was. And of course, we mad. So I didn't want to be rude to anybody. I didn't want to say nothing that I really didn't mean from my heart that I meant in the heat of the moment. So I just, I backed away from even posting any kind of videos, really. Um, I just backed away. from making videos um, from even posting for a while but of course y'all um, for those who don't know I am still doing um, let me just find a place to talk to y'all real quick that's quiet um, I am still going to do the um, the Kansas Dial Show the Wichita Dial Show um, and I have still been making babies I still have been painting um and rooting my re my reborns and my silicone dolls but i just was feeling some type of way um and i know i've heard all of the stories and i have been really blessed that i haven't had any problems in the past you know as far as being scammed or anybody you know trying to get down or get over on me thank god um and but i had heard stories from other people but this looks scary y'all i'm just gonna get away from there right look look i'm talking i was like um this looks scary y'all i'm just gonna get away from there you know that's like one of those things you need to do two by two <laughs> your partner. right yeah. so um <clears throat> i was i was feeling real salty so um i ain't make no videos and i didn't post anything um but i have still been working i have still been busy and I still got babies in the little way and I've been working and talking with those mommies and everything so I just haven't completely disappeared off the face of the earth you know there's a few ladies in the community that ask me you know like hey yeah I ain't seen you posting nothing or I ain't seen long time no hear from her and you know stuff like that so I have spoken with those ladies and um, talked to them and let them know what was going on with me um, but you know not into detail like I'm telling you right now but so let me tell you, the story is, I had a baby, my patients. Anybody who knows me that's been watching my channel know that I love my patients. My patients, was, um, I'm loving all of these iguanas that I'm seeing everywhere, like they everywhere, every two steps. But anyway, um, my patients, I had got her from um, Albie Wenzel. And Albie Wenzel is an artist that is based from Africa. Um, so it was she was one of my one of my dream babies that I wanted. I always wanted a baby from Albie, and I was um, I was able to get you know a baby from her at the um, at the Kansas Dial Show a couple of years ago. Um, long story short, I. Um, needed to die. I was trying to downsize my collection some, right? Try to get rid of some of the babies. So I put and it was a hard decision to do, to sit and see what baby I was going to try to sell. And the reason but well, I got an airport right here on this island. It's like, if you got money, money like, we ain't flying here because we don't got money, money like that. I'm going to just sit in this cabana. got no money money like that to be flying in but I wish we did um, uh, oh, that was a rough 
landing. So, okay, so um, the reason that I did chose to sell patients was because um, I had another baby. Um, I bought patients, then a, two years later, I wound up purchasing another one of Albie's babies. So, long story short, I was going to have two, when I was downsizing, you know, I was getting rid of double artist babies. So, um, since I did have another baby by that particular artist, I was going to get rid of one, right? So, whew. So, I was going to get rid of one. So, I put, I put patients up for sale, right? So, she wasn't even she saw really really quick and I don't know if that should have been a red flag or but she was a beautiful baby so I had no doubt in my mind that she was going to sell but um so anyway I put her up for sale and she sold and um so I shipped her out and everything and like when I'm checking because I always check I upload it um, tracking to the seller, you know, everything like that. And but I didn't upload it on eBay. But I did I always go directly to the seller first of all. Um, so I went to the seller, upload, you know, gave them the um the tracking information. And then um, you know, I'm just sitting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And the baby is just sitting at her local post office. It's saying that it's made it to her city, to her town at the local post office, but it's just sitting there, right? So it's just sitting there. I'm tired of holding this, y'all. I ain't mean to have you all let me swing my legs like that. But, um, make sure I ain't showing nothing what I ain't supposed to be showing. But, um, so yeah, so, so when she sold you know she just sitting there so I reach out to the sell I mean the buyer again after about um, five or six days because it's just sitting there it hasn't moved it hasn't been picked up nothing so I say um hey you know have you checked About that. I'm gonna have to cut a lot of this out, or maybe not. It is what it is at this point in life. We are family, right? So, um, damn, man, I keep forgetting where I left off at, but anyway, so after a couple of days, you know, I'm telling her it's sitting, I see it sitting at your local post office, you know, what's going on. She's like, Oh, I don't know, I haven't heard anything. So, I'm like, Okay, so now I call um, the post office. I called the post office and I'm like, you know, where's my package? It's been sitting there for like 10, 13 days and it hasn't moved. I want to know, you know, has it been delivered? Has it been picked up? Is it there? You know, can somebody place eyes on it for me? So, um, then once I do that, it's been like now, we going on like 18 days. So, um, so now I reach out to the to the buyer again because now UPS is saying oh this is a P.O. box and they have been getting a lot of packages lately um, and there's nothing here. They was like yeah we see that it was delivered but there's nothing here. It must have been picked up. I'm like huh? What? She was like yeah I see that they've been getting a lot of packages. I see that they have been getting a lot of packages here lately. So I'm like um like okay birds are everywhere all over us all over our shit they disrespectful but anyway so um so now i reach back out to the buyer again i'm like um have you ever had any problems or anything with your post office before like have you ever had missing mail or anything because um 
she like, well, what do you mean? What are you, you know, she was like, what do, what do you mean? I was like, well, have you ever had missing packages before, you know? I was like, because they said that you've been receiving a lot of packages. She like, well, what are you implying? And she was like, I don't appreciate like, she didn't appreciate what I was saying or what I was inquiring. I'm like, what you mean? I'm like, if you the buyer and I'm the seller, or if the situation was flip-flopped, I want you as the seller to do anything that you can to see about my money or to see about my product, right? I really appreciate your due diligence in trying to make this a smooth transaction, make this a smooth deal because it's the same service that I would want myself, right? I guess that's not the case with everybody because common sense is not all that common, apparently. Um, so she like, so that was that. So then the next day, she tells, she sends me a message and she like, oh, I um, I spoke with eBay and they told me that I didn't have to answer any of your um, texts anymore. I didn't have to respond to any of any more of your texts or any more of your messages. What? Really? What you mean? So I, I left it at that. I'm like, all right, fine, cool, right? At this point, now I just want to know where my baby is. But you know how eBay always put your money in escrow. So the money was sitting in escrow until, I guess, for whatever, until it could say that it was delivered. So I, then I go to, you know, I call the post office and I say, well, I'm an eBay seller and, you know, my funds are being held because it hasn't, it's stuck in a shipping status. You know, it's not saying on the website that it has been delivered. That was the whole issue. It was just still saying like it was sitting. It hadn't been picked up. You know what I'm saying? It was just sitting. So I was like, can y'all up, update, update it in your system so that eBay can see that it has been delivered? So they did that. So once they did that, eBay released my funds. So now it's about 22, 23 days in, right? I don't talk to the girl. I don't talk to the post office. I don't be in contact with eBay, the whole shenanigans whole now everything so now um after they update their system they ebay release my funds i get my funds so soon as the funds is released then the next day the girl put in the claim that she didn't get her product her item then that was after 22 23 days after me keep asking you let's figure out what's going on let's work together to find out what's going on after the money hadn't been you seen the money hadn't been released from your account and that i had received the money it was fine up until that point then soon as my money get released now you worry about it now you worried about it so anyway that was all that was fine that was then so now the next day ebay now they charge me a refund fee they refund the buyer her money but now i have extra fees plus what she purchased for the dial so now i am being charged more they they um taking more money out of my account than what she paid for the dial at this point right so <laughs> yeah yeah i was mad as hell i was pissed so um then but calm down calm down because you know your girl she was gonna work it out i was gonna get to the bottom of it so then i gotta go through the whole thing again with ebay 